We are only days into 2021, and the bad news continues for the lovers of classic cruise ships. The most recent news to break is in relation to ship scrapping, and it's the confirmation that the classic ocean liner Marco Polo now shows Alang as her final destination. This is despite hopes in late 2020 that she would remain in service as a chartered vessel. There have been numerous rumours surrounding this ship since CMV entered administration in the middle of 2020. The six ships of the CMV fleet were either returned to their lessors, or put up for auction with varying fates. Marco Polo is one of the oldest ocean liners still in service, having been built in 1965 as Alexander Pushkin. The ship was part of the Ivan Franco class, which were all named after Ukrainian, Georgian and Russian poets and writers. Marco Polo was the last of its class still in service. Three of the other ships in the class were previously scrapped, and the fifth ship, Mikhail Yomontov, sank in 1986 while cruising off the coast of New Zealand. Before operating for CMV, Marco Polo had various career changes, including a lengthy stint at Orient Lines, where she first sailed under the name of Marco Polo. She also sailed for Transocean Tours, both under her original name, as well as for the two years prior to her career with CMV. Marco Polo is now en route to Alang, where she will join Karnica, formerly p Pacific Jewel, and Ocean Dream, both of which have already been beached there. The former Pacific Dawn, currently named Satoshi, is also due to end her days at the Indian scrapyard. Like Marco Polo, Ocean Dream is another cruise ship with a long history, and she was beached at Alang in early January. Ocean Dream was the first new build for Carnival Cruise Line, entering service in 1982. She was built in Denmark as Tropicale, introducing the Carnival winged funnel design, and she sailed under the Carnival brand until 2000. The ship was then moved into the Carnival Corporation's Costa brand, and renamed Costa Tropicale. During her refit for this role, the iconic Carnival funnel was removed and replaced by a Costa-style funnel. After five years with Costa, she was transferred again and renamed, becoming Pacific Star for Carnival Corporation's P&O Cruises Australia. The ship left the Carnival Corporation umbrella in 2008, becoming Ocean Dream when she was sold to Pulmontor Cruises. She sailed for Pulmontor until 2012, before being transferred to Peace Boat, retaining the name Ocean Dream, and she remained with Peace Boat until 2020. Further west in Turkey, at Izmir's Breakers Yards, the former CMV Aster has commenced the scrapping process, with most of the ship's bow now cut away. At the same scrapyard, the former Sovereign and Carnival Fantasy are both barely recognisable, with large parts of the ship now scrapped. The Monarch has commenced the scrapping process, while Carnival Inspiration and Imagination both appear almost fully intact, almost as if they could set sail again. Of course, this will never happen, and both ships are due to be broken up in 2021. Now since it's the new year and I didn't want my first video of 2021 to be all bad news, here's a few inspiring shots of cruise ships at sea to brighten your day. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future updates. Thanks so much for watching, and when we can set sail again, I hope to see you on board.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.